Hello. How's everyone? Gonna wait just a few seconds here. To make sure that we get some people on. I don't know why my chat is not cleared from two lives ago. There we go. I guess what I have to do is make sure that I clear them. <clears throat> okay. Well, today we are going to do the sand and sea. Oh my goodness, you can't barely see me. The sand and sea suite. In the sand and sea suite, you're going to get the stamp set, the dies, a 3D embossing folder, opal rounds, specialty paper, stickers, and designer series paper. And I'm going to show you all of that right now. The Sand and Sea Suite is $92. And that's plus shipping and tax. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the designer paper. So blue wavy stuff, pretty little dots, sand, and then seashells on the other side. Um, Oh, I can't remember what these are called, but they're pretty, and I do have some of these. And then there's pretty blue, like ocean type stuff. And okay, so that's the other side of that starfish. And you can see that it um, goes from yellow to pink. And then we have silver dollars. And on the other side of that is this pretty paper. And then a mixture of shells. And on the other side of that, it goes from yellow to pink to blue. And then this just repeats. So you get two sheets of each. And whoop, let me see if I can get this back in here. Okay, so that's the designer series paper. And then we have this specialty paper. It's called pearlescent specialty paper. And I'm gonna Try and get it out of here. I've, I've used it already. So you can see the pearlescence. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So we're going to be using a little bit of that. And then whoop, we have the stickers. And I've not used my stickers yet. Oh, you know what? I'm showing you all of this and I don't even have it on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to show you all of this and I don't even have it shown. 
Oh my goodness. All right, let's go back over. I'm crazy woman. I completely forgot. Okay, so this is one side and this is the other side. Pretty dots. And then the sand and mixed seashells. And then we have Oh my gosh, I cannot remember what these are called. Anyway, that's the other side. And then we have starfish. And then we have a pretty variegated color on the other side. And then sand dollars. And on the other side of that is more variegated color. And then we're back to the same stuff. And that is because you get two sheets of each, okay? All right, and then, <laughs> let me take the pearlescence out and show you again. You can see how pretty that paper is. All right. Now let's look at our stickers. I haven't used my stickers. So we've got, let me get in here. Blue seashells, pink conch shells, and starfish. So you're gonna get three sheets one of each and then we have the opal brown let me see if i can find where it's open because we're going to use these aren't they pretty so we're going to use those and we're going to use this um, 3D embossing folder. Okay, so let's get started with the first card. I have a Sahara Sand card base. I'll give it a quick We're going to use some of this designer paper and Melon Mambo. Okay, so I need to stamp on here. And I'm going to be using Sahara Sand, Flirty Flamingo, and Seaside Spray, and Shaded Spruce. So let's get busy. We're going to stamp. Okay, you know what I need to do? I need to check and see how this, because this die is all one die. So I need to make sure that I am stamping in the right area. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to place that there. And you know what? I'm going to pencil mark, if I can find my pencil, let's, do this, so I get it in the right spot, 
and that way I am not okay I'm going to need to look pardon my head this up. That one's a hard one. Close that up and seaside spray for yeah I'm probably not going to get a good cut on this. Okay. Seaside spray for the little seashell. And we're going to do two of these. So let's go ahead and get the big shot in here Let me get my stuff out of the way to line this up as best we can. And I'm going to fussy cut that one simply because it's too much trouble to get the big shot lined up. So you can see it cuts all one unit. I gave blood today, so that's why I have a band-aid on my finger. So we're going to cut off these other pieces. You can save them and color them with um, your blends or your uh, color pencils. And you can see I didn't get a very good cut on this so I'm gonna do the best I can here because I only want the shell And 
this one. And I'm not a very good cutter as far as keeping the white line the way it's supposed to be. But I try. Okay. So let's get rid of all of these pieces, parts. Because I'm going to have to use this again. like I got it okay so I do have some um, where's my some seaweed that I need to cut so let's stamp that next And that is going to be in the shaded spruce. Oh, I need, I need a better. Okay. And that is done with this die. But I'm going to fussy cut it because I can cut it out quicker with the fussy cutting. But the dye really does work um, a whole lot better. Sorry, I'm off camera. And you want to move your paper, not your scissors. One last piece. So this is much faster than bringing the big shot over for just these three little pieces. Okay. So this is the basis of our card. What did I do with the card? put it over here <laughs> okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put our designer paper down and we're going to put it on the lower half of the card and I want to make sure that it's all even. And I'm going to stamp in Memento Black the saying. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. 
and I forgot my rubber mat. Okay. And we are using the Story Label Punch. That is the Story Label Punch. And here we are. Okay, so now what we need to do is get some dimensionals. I'm looking at my original. And I have everything up on dimensionals except the seaweed. Okay, so we're going to get that out of the way. We're going to put the big seashell down. Oh, wait. We need to put the seaweed. in place. The big seashell down first. I want to make sure that you can see it. And Just a little bit of glue. So we're going to put that down and then just a little bit of glue. And then this is going to go on here. goes like that hmm I think I needed to put <laughs> ah, it's stuck to my nail okay we'll have to take that one off And we're going to use a mini glue dot up here at the top because we want, look at that, that it's craziness. And then Happy birthday to my beautiful friend goes right here. And we're going to use some opal rounds. Put a couple of small ones on the little seashells and a bigger one on And that's card one. And then you leave the inside open for whatever you want to um, stamp. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp off 
and stamp one of these shells right inside so it's tone on tone well it's hard to see it's hard to see but that's how that's card number one okay all right card number two let me get everything we're going to use a so saffron card base and it is four and a quarter by eleven and I've already cut that out and here's the other two pieces so what we're going to do is we're going to stamp my sentiment on here and wait I'm sorry I'm looking at my notes I should be looking at my card Oh, we're going to stamp seaweed on here. Okay. Let's see. Where did my... We're not going to use this. So I need to clean it. to stamp it in old olive. And we're going to actually cut that out with um, Sorry, with the die. So that's the die. And friends are like seashells. And that is stamped in flirty flamingo. We're going to wait one sec. Okay. And that is punched out with the everyday label punch. Hi, Colleen. Hope you're enjoying this. Okay, so now what we need to do is emboss this, cut these, and then put it all together. <gasps> My card got messed up. Okay, let's get the embossing folder out, and you'll be able to see how this embossing folder works. Okay, so it is a 3 d -er. And this is always the front. So, we're going to place the cutout. Well,
place the cutout so that it's inside all of the spots. Bring over. Now, I am using my old tab um, because I have the blue 3D embossing folder. And then I want to cut. And unfortunately, we don't have three of these, so one, And I'm trying to go fast. It's just a little difficult. When you gotta do all of that. Okay, so that's how you get the beautiful embossed. Can you see it? Isn't it beautiful? Now I'm going to use my light granny green, granny apple green, and I'm just going to color and you'll see how pretty this is. Make sure you don't miss any spots. seaweed so we have some contrast oh I see I missed a spot see and I'm going to leave the shells pearlescent. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so then this just goes on here with a little dab of glue here and there and I'm actually going to put some 
uh, dimensionals where the shells are so that they have some depth and they don't lose their depth. And a mini one. Okay. So now comes time to place And you just want to press down where the glue is, just so it takes. And then dimensionals on your friends are like seashells. And then a couple of these placed strategically. With a little bit of glue. This one right there, and this one right here, and then this one is behind. And that is card number two. So card one, card two. Okay, we'll let those dry. And now card number three is gonna be a little more intricate. Um, I have a, bear with me. Flirty Flamingo card base. And I'm trying to get my stuff out of here. Flirty Flamingo card base. Um, some of the sand paper. And this is going to go straight on the card base. Okay. And our sentiment is flirty flamingo. I moved it. Is going to go on so saffron. So I'm sticking with my colors and I like to use this um, stamp cleaner pad that we used to have. It was in the clearance but it's no longer there. And then this is a one and three quarter inch punch if you have it. If not, you can use your layering circles. And this is a one and a half. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to layer this. I guess I need my tweezers so I can see all around my fingers. Okay, and we're going to put dimensionals on the back of that because we love dimensionals. Okay, so that's going to set aside. Now we need to stamp. And we are going to stamp a couple of starfish, a couple of seashells, and some small Okay, so I need to find my card. Ah, there it is. So I know what I'm stamping in. Okay, so we are stamping our sand dollars in Sahara sand. And we will have three of those. And we are stamping a couple of starfish in Flirty Flamingo. And then we are stamping a couple of these small seashells and they're going to go in the um, seaside spray. Okay, always make sure that your um, stamp pads are closed because sometimes they don't want to close. Okay, so now Let's get the dies. And get to cutting. We're going to put that off to the side so that they don't And the beauty of this is we can cut multiples while we're stays and I 
Of course. dollars don't like to stay put that's the magnet for you okay one more time through after this have to move this around a little bit because that seashell didn't want to stay. And I can see that the other starfish moved. Okay. Last, I need that other yellow. Okay, I don't, I don't need this other yellow one, so we're just going to go with those. And our first sand dollar goes down in the corner. And one of the blue seashells goes here. And I do believe, oh, that's Gypsy. We're going to put another sand dollar down, but we need dimensionals. Just going to oh, wrong one. We're just going to stair step our seashells and place another sand dollar this way and a starfish up here and a sand dollar here a starfish here and another one here and then our sentiment love you to the beach and back okay what did I do with the cards that I made? 
All right. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you, because I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> I am all over the place. There we go. So that is the collection. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see all three. And use the host code when you order this suite and you will get a special uh, little something something from me. I have a whole stash of craziness. I, some things are old and some things are new. So let's go from there. I want to thank you for joining me. I realized this was a long, a long um, video, but it will be up on my blog and on my YouTube channel as well. Thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely weekend.